go. Hey everybody, this is Terry. We're here for the Proto School Weekly Call on Thursday, September 12th, and we're very excited to have lots of people here. Um, so one of our biggest announcements for today is that we have a new team member. Jill, do you want to introduce yourself quickly? Okay, once again this week. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm Jill. Uh, I work at Moxie. I've been working here for about one year. I work mainly on front-end stuff, uh, and I'll be joining uh, Terry in doing stuff for the and, and helping out with the Proto School. Yeah, we're super excited to have you here. We were bummed to lose Diogo, but we are very excited to have you joining us to knock out a lot of our front-end work. So that's awesome. Um, and then I'll just run through some of these updates that we have in the notes here. So on the content development front, the biggest and kind of most important thing that I'm working on right now is to go through the content from IPFS camp in an effort to see what will fit nicely into Proto School, whether that's brand new tutorials or adjustments to existing content using maybe a diagram or a really cool explanation that someone gave, um, or linking to things from the resources page. There are a lot of ways that we could do that. So at the moment, the biggest thing that I've done is to uh, gather up the slide decks from the various course leaders and make sure those are at least in the camp repo to start. And the videos will be published probably by the end of next week, I think, um, from those courses. So we have a lot of great materials on the way. And then my next step is to go through the, each of those courses in more detail and figure out what are the pieces we can pull out. So for example, one of the ideas that I've had so far within Alan's session on working with files, there was a section on the anatomy of a CID, which was really cool. And he also showed a tool called the CID inspector that kind of broke down like all the different, the multi-base, like what kind of hash it is, this and that. Um, so one thing we could think about doing is if the result of your code for a, for a specific lesson is a CID, then we could give you the option to then view it in that, um, in that tool. So there's stuff like that we could do that's kind of more uh, ux -y and across the board feature type things. And then there will also be a lot of just pure content, like we could build a tutorial about the anatomy of a CID and then link to, back to that from the tool. So that's just one idea um, that I'm considering for like Q4 OKRs to take advantage of some of the camp content. Um, another thing that was super exciting this week is that we had someone submit their first PR and someone who is not not here all of the time working on this submit their first PR to fix a lesson. We have lots of people and this is awesome. A lot of people who do the tutorials submit feedback, especially when they're doing uh, when they're at one of the live events and the leaders encourage them to do that. But this was someone who came in and just put in a PR to tweak the, the word or the code that was off. Um, so that was really nice to see. And then our buddy Dan found a bug that is so complicated that we think it might be coming from IPFS itself instead of from Proto School. So to be determined, but we have someone from the IPFS team working to help us figure out whether that is indeed the case. Um, and then Jill has also started messing around with the, the internals and fixed um, a visual bug that we had that was making things come out all in different widths. So he's getting into the getting into the code base there. Um, so yeah, that one actually I'll drag down to the, the learner experience, the more UXE section. And that's on that front. That's probably the biggest thing that we've done this week. And then we have our first Tokyo chapter. Do you want to say anything about that? Hello. Yes. Uh, I'm Senshi Masa Onion. You can call me Senshi or Masa. Uh, I recently opened the Tokyo chapter. And I'm currently working on this uh, books translating project. So, That's yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, I am planning to have a uh, meetups uh, workshops around DevCon Osaka from October eighth to eleventh, and uh, our meetup will happen in Osaka and Tokyo. For Osaka, it will happen on October seventh. 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. near Osaka Station. 
and for Tokyo, it will happen October 12th in Shibuya from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Terry, you're muted. Yeah. <laughs> Would you mind when you have a second adding those details to the to the notes document and then we can share them? Okay. And definitely, uh, uh, you may already be doing this, but we totally recommend that any of the chapter organizers use, like you can use an issue to announce a specific event. Um, mm -hmm. Tweet, we have a proto school. Feel free to tag the proto school handle when you tweet about your event so we can help to kind of repost and get some more eyes on it. Um, but that's really cool. We're really, really happy to have you on the team. Awesome. And then, of course, if you're doing, if you're using um, content from those proto school tutorials, definitely encourage people to use that button at the bottom of the page to submit feedback. So if there's something that's not making sense, they can do it individually, or you can tell us everybody got stuck on lesson six of this tutorial and tell us why, and we can work on fixing that. So that's always super helpful. All right. So we're super excited to have you with us. Thanks. Uh, what else? Um, we've I took a really rough first stab at Q4 OKRs for the project, but I wanna take some time to chat about that stuff with Jill and, and Ollie and some other folks, and then hopefully we'll share a little bit more on next week's call. Um, what else, anything exciting? Well, I was about to ask if there's anything exciting going on in Hong Kong, but that's not a not really the question I mean. Is there anything exciting going on with Proto School in Hong Kong? Uh, actually, uh, uh, not much about, uh, I haven't done much about the uh, 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 Proto School in Hong Kong, but then uh, I, I, I would say the Masa is so lucky because he has his uh, first event in uh, Osaka and then uh, the IPFS team and uh, uh, Nippy with him will join as well. So it would be so, oh, so awesome. lucky for you. Yeah, yeah. So, and then, and then I think uh, uh, part of the members, they will go to Taipei afterwards. And then uh, they will also have a photo school event there, uh, IPFS meetup, and as well as photo school event there. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. So I think. The uh, yeah, I, 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 Taipei chapter that's doing that. Yeah, yeah. Kevin, his name is uh, Kevin as well. So, okay. so uh, that's why I, I was trying to liaise with them so that uh, because I knew uh, Ro and uh, Alan and Mike, I think they are going to Taipei as well. So it, it will be a good chance for them to have a meetup there as well. And then I was asking if they can if they could come to Hong Kong, but then uh, it's uh, too, uh, too 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 long because I think they are traveling to Japan, Thai, Taiwan. I think the schedule is too tight, so that's why they can come to Hong Kong. Yeah, but but anyways, I will I will join the Japan and the Taipei uh, event anyways. Yeah, yeah. And uh, last week, I I I. I Terry, actually, I uh, look at the uh, issue that Molly uh, 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 put on the uh, uh, chapter, put on the uh, uh, photo school uh, GitHub. Yeah. And then uh, I think uh, there's a very detailed one there. I think uh, I can help with uh, part of the, uh, let's say, the e, uh, D or E part of them uh, 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 when I, uh, during my free time. Yeah, I, your video just cut out Hello? for me, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. yeah, if you are able to help with yeah, any let's say the uh, e, uh, uh but, but then uh, because I, I've been so busy uh, recently, so uh, it may take me some time to uh, uh, I think those part from the 